Okay, so task three, which is called the basics part three, we will be looking at two quadratic functions, um, and we'll find the x and y intercepts and also the minimum values of both of these functions. So we already have a lot going on here, and let's make up a new graphing screen. So what we can do is um, a couple things. We can start a new document, but I do want to try something else. I want to, instead of a new document, just let's start a new problem, okay? And we can add a graph. Now, what's good about this is, if you remember, in this example, we already have F1 and F2, and they're already defined, okay? So, for example, if we go to var here, F1 and F2 are defined. But if you go to a new problem, so say this is question two on a test, well, that no longer exists. So these two are not related anymore, which is kind of nice. Okay, so you can start over here, um, and that can be useful if you're doing a test and you have like a lot of entries or a lot of graphs and can get confusing. Maybe just leave it separate and come on to here. Okay, so from here you can do x minus one squared minus four. So that's the first one. And the next one, just hit tab, and this is gonna be x plus two squared um, plus one. Okay, so we just want to find the x and y intercepts of both. So let's just do the y intercepts first. So we go to trace and graph trace. Um, now notice it's already on the y intercept in this case, so that's easy. Okay, but how do we move to the other curve? Well, just simply press up or down. Okay, or just keep on pressing up and it goes back and forth. Okay, um, and if it wasn't on the y intercept, like say if it was over here, well, just type zero. Enter, and there we go. And then you can go up or down. Okay, so that's one way. Another way, just remember control T will take you to the table, and you can see, well, where is um, X equal to zero? We're right there, so there's one y-intercept, and you can look for the other one. Both of them are here. A little, not the easiest to navigate here, but if you play around with it, it should be clear. Okay, they're both there. All right, so let's get rid of this for now. Okay, we have to find the X-intercept, so menu, analyze graph, um, zeros of the function. Which graph? Well, you have to pick because it doesn't know if you want the red or blue. Let's try the red. Well, there's no x-intercepts here, so it's not going to work. So let's try that again with the other one, the blue one. And you can't, unfortunately, do two at the same time. Okay, so you have to do one, and then you have to do it again. Analyze graph, uh, zero, and there's the other one. Okay, you can move that out of the way. Okay, so determine the minimum value of both functions. We'll, we'll go to menu, um, analyze graph, minimum, which one? We'll just pick one of them, so let's say that. Lower bound to right there. Now you can see the calculator is glitching a little, so you have to use your brain a little. If it says negative 1.9999999, it means two, negative two. So I would just move it until it works nicely. There we go, so it's negative two and one. And one more time, the minimum of this, same exact process, analyze graph, minimum, Click that, and here to here, and there you can see same issue, 1.0000. Use your brain if you see that, it's just one, round it off, but you can keep moving it until it works nicely. All right, so that's that. We have the x-intercepts, we have the minimum values, um, and we can find the y-intercepts easily.